I wanted to talk a little bit about some cool stuff here that we wind up having inside of Photoshop. Now when you wind up working on stuff in Photoshop, you can actually import this into Flash and actually keep all of the information that you wind up having in the individual layers and you can even keep uh, the layer order. Now take a look at this. This is a very simple design. I don't want to go too overboard with anything, but all we have is just a shape. Notice if I, I'm just going to go and zoom in here real quick. Here we have a shape. We have some text layers. Then we have a box for a border and then we have a background. So not that much stuff there. But what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to just take all of this information and import all of this into Flash and take a look at what it looks like from a Flash standpoint. So I have all my design done. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to save. I'm going to close. and I'm going to open up Flash. And inside of Flash, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new document. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of size of a document I wind up creating. It's not going to, we're really not going to play around too much with that. But click OK. And now what I'll do is I'm going to do Command-2 or Control-2 on PC, fit everything in here. And I have my library open so we can take a look at what it is that happens when we wind up importing the PSD file. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on File, and I'm going to click on Import, and I'm going to Import to the Stage. Once I single click on Importing to the Stage, I'm going to highlight the Design Red PSD file that we wind up taking. I'll go ahead and I'll click on import and notice that inside of that you wind up getting a dialog box now that tells us what kinds of things we want to be able to import. So we wind up having the logo that it shows up with a transparent swatch around it and it shows us a series of text layers and then it shows us some boxes. Now take a look if I highlight the DR logo it allows you to be able to either save it as a flattened bitmap or it allows you to be able to save editable paths and layer styles. So what I'm going to do is, since this is a logo, I'm going to save this as a bitmap, and I can even create a movie clip for this layer. I can click on that, make it a movie clip, and then the instance name, I'm just going to call this DR logo, and I'll go ahead and I'll set a registration point to the center. And I can go ahead and continue to do this to all of the other ones, but notice, here we wind up having some text, and it gives us an option as to whether or not we want to save it as editable text, outlines that are vector-based or flattened image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as editable text but still make it into a movie into a movie clip so that I can move it around on the canvas. So I'll go ahead and I'll call this SP text and I'll set a center registration point. I'll continue to do this for all of the other guys. Okay, so notice now that what we wound up doing here is we wound up setting up all of the different layers so that they wind up either being text, vector outlines, or bitmap images. Now, notice at the bottom also that you wind up having the option to be able to take the flash layers or to be able to take the layers in the document and convert them into flash layers so we can preserve layer stacking. And you can actually set the stage of your flash file to be able to match the stage that you wind up having in the Photoshop document. I'm going to get in and I'm going to select that and I'll click OK. Notice now all of the elements are on the stage and I can actually highlight and you'll notice that you see an instance of DR logo, instance of design red, instance of red design and if you wind up taking a look at the library all of the different movie clips were created and were thrown inside of this PSD assets folder. So we've got some pretty good setup there. Now all we would need to do is be able to create some sort of design for this. Okay, so now what I did is I took all of the layers and I just added some tweening so that we can take a look at some specific effects. Just do a command return or control enter to be able to take a look. So straightforward work. All we did was save the file out of Photoshop, import to the stage. Once we wind up getting to the import, we have the option to be able to specify how we want the layers to behave and a little bit of sprinkle and flash animation here, and we're pretty much good to go. So it looks like a good first step. I'm excited about it. Thanks for watching.